So I know I probably look a little crazy right now. Yeah, I probably look a lot crazy right now. But let me, excuse me, let me ask y'all a question. I think a lot of people is like, my eyebrows need to be arched so bad. <sighs> I'm sorry. I was on Facebook, right? And whenever you talk about stuff on Facebook and you ask, like, intelligent questions, you can never get an intelligent answer. Like, people just act so dumb on Facebook. But if you say something stupid, they be all over the stack. But you say something smart, they go ignore the shit out of it. So, I think I had this discussion before. I'm not for sure. But I wonder how many people are familiar with BB. I mean, VB. VB. Also known as Garnerella. Not gonorrhea. Garnerella. That's another name for it. It is a specific organism. Now, I'm about to tell y'all about BB. BV is called bacterial vaginitis. And a lot of people think, you know, sometimes that you can get it from sex, which you can get it from sex. Yes, you can get it from sex. But then again, you don't have to get it from sex. Because what it is, is BV is bacteria vaginitis. It's a certain amount of bacteria that we have in our vagina. And... Sometimes when we dush, which we think is good, we dush away our good bacteria that protect us from bacterial vaginitis or yeast infection when we dush. When you dush, you stick that thing up you, vinegar and water, you squeeze it, you clean out your whole vagina, but you clean out all your good bacteria that keep your pH balance leveled. You know what I'm saying? So, so let's say first you dush. And when you dushed, these is your pH balance that's keeping you smelling good. Okay, when you dush, they're gone. Now you're susceptible for yeast infection and BV. Now, BV can also be um, if you are not drinking enough water or if you're taking too many medications to knock your pH balance off, you could get it. I think a lot of people really just, just don't know what it is because I used to be on a lot of medications, a lot, and it will always happen to me and I hate it. And I wasn't having sex, so I knew it didn't come from sex. But when I say your vagina smells like a skunk died in it, it smells horrific. And you cannot smell it. Like if a girl was to get in the shower and take a shower, you know what I'm saying, and she got out the shower, you wouldn't smell it. Because she just got out the shower. But if you open up her vagina or you get her juices going, it is the most foulest smell in the fucking world that you will be like, oh my God. So it's like a little beginning stage to it where it starts out real faint. It's a little faint, 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 little fishy smell, you know? And then. If you don't treat it, which is treated with, uh, it's treated with, um, pills called flagels, flagels. Most of the time they're 800s or 500s and you take it twice a day, but the flagel pills gives you a yeast infection. So it fixes one thing, but then it hurts something else. So You get you 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 go to the bathroom and you wipe yourself, right? This is for women. You wipe yourself. And you smell a tissue and then you got a little slight little smell on there that does not smell normal. Because we know all know our body odors. You know what I'm saying? You know when the difference between when you stink and when something don't smell right. So it's always a little smell that if it's if you smell it and you be like, mm, that don't smell right. That's when you need to go to urgent care to get them flagell pills. Now, a lot of people don't know this. They give you flagell pills and tell you to take them for seven days. You could take five flagell pills. Five. And 
the smell will be gone by the end of the day. I'm not telling you nothing that I'm lying about. I'm telling you about facts because I've been through it. I was, I be on so much medication. It has, I got a vitamin B deficiency. I got a magnesium deficiency. I got a potassium deficiency. I got a vitamin D proficiency. And all that throws my hormones off. So sometimes I do be susceptible when I'm like, especially if I'm in the hospital and I'm on a lot of prescriptions, it will knock my pH balance off and then I end up getting bacterial vaginitis. You know what I'm saying? It don't come from, mine don't come from sex. Mine's always come from my pH balance ain't right. So, you know, once you, if you pop them five pills, you good. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know that. They don't want to be, they be scared. They don't want to take five pills. But back in the day, if you guys ever remember Herman Kieford, that's how they used to give them to you there. They just made you take the five pills. They didn't send you home until you take seven pills because you probably not going to take them. And then you probably still going to end up having the shit. So they ain't make you take the five pills in front of them. So if you don't take the five pills, though, if you if you, if you don't get it treated, let's say for us, you smell a little smell, hmm, by the end of that night, oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. My nose is running so bad. And I can't get up because I don't have on new clothes. Hold on one minute. Don't y'all hate when y'all nose run and then you get like uncontrollable runny nose? Like, it be like, shit just start running for no reason. Like, I'm sorry. So, what I was saying was, if you smell it at the beginning of the day, by that nighttime, you're going to be reeking, reeking, reeking. And I don't care how many baths you take. I don't care how many dishes you take. I don't care how many times you wash up. That smell is not going away. It's not going away. You're going to have to go to the doctor and get them flagell pills. So if you... Ever hear anybody say they took flagell? Most likely, that's what they're talking about. The flagell feels, you know. So, don't always. I know, like, guys be like, I didn't hear stories of guys talk about girls and they be like, oh man, her coochie just smells so bad. Well, that's probably why, because she had bacterial vaginitis and she didn't know. She, she thought that she could just go in the bathroom and just wash up. And it'll go away, but that's not how BV works. You need and you need antibiotics to get rid of that smell. Antibiotics and the antibiotic that you need is flagell. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know about the other diseases. <laughs> I can't tell you about the other ones, but I know BV is very common because I hear a lot of people tell me, "Oh man, she had an odor that was like crazy." And it don't be funk. It's your bacteria levels are extremely high. The Garnerella organism has grew because you some type of way messed up your original levels. And the Garnerella bacteria has grew. And that's why it smells how it smells. So... Some of you out there that's been washing up and it ain't been working, take your ass to the urgent care. Tell them, tell them anything. Just tell them that you, you think you got burnt by somebody and you got a foul smell. They're going to treat you for everything. You know, I mean, I, I think that's how you should go into a relationship anyway. Like, I think that two people should get checked out or just get treated in general and go into it clean. So I'm bad. My dog always get in trouble. <sighs> Having a puppy is so hard. It's like taking care of little kids. So anyway, that was just like a little one-on-one -on -one lady. Um lady talk I'm not doing anything but sitting here so I figure I will post something about females because most men is ignorant and don't really know 
they'll smell that shit and they'll keep fucking like they don't smell it i'm the type of chick like "Uh uh-uh nope we got to stop you don't you don't smell that i smell that that shit is not normal so that definitely have to stop now this is a good question right here if you have bv can you give it to a guy no you can't a guy can catch something like if you have a yeast infection or something they say it's good to have sex when you have a yeast infection i don't know about that because i'm not a doctor but they say when you have sex it, it makes your body produce more of this natural chemical to wipe out the yeast so they say it's good to have sex with yeast infection but i'm not for sure about that and the other one um what was the other one the bv thing i'm not for sure about th- i i don't think you could catch bv i don't think you could catch b a uh, dude can catch bv he can't but there is something called ngu that a guy can get and it has no symptoms at all and i think that comes from messing with different girls with different body uh secretions you know, one girl got that, you, you stick your dick in one girl, she got that secretion. You go stick your dick in another girl, she got that. Mixing all them secretions, I guess. I, I don't even know what NGU would stand for, but I'm going to Google it, and then I'm going to come back and make a video about it, NGU. But this one was about bacterial vaginitis. So, smell that coochie before you go down there eating it up like the cookie monster. <laughs>